when I was 13, you know, and we lived just a, like a, a impoverished life that day. I mean, mom was just really addicted. Now, you have people who do, I've done drugs, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you got people who do drugs and you got people who are addicted. It's life. It's part of life. Oh my God. Every yeah. day, all day chasing that high, right? That was my mom, right? She sold her body. She sold everything we had to get it. All right. And so we didn't really have much. And I can remember what things kind of took a turn is that I was coming home. I was 13 years old. I was coming home from school. And when I got to uh, where our, our project was, um, all of our stuff was sitting out on the side of the road. Oh, Everything shit. we owned was sitting out on the side of the road. So typically, when those type of shit, that type of stuff happens, someone is there to, hey, I'm a 13 year old kid. Right. Somebody's there to pick you up, hug you, and say, hey, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna live here tonight. You're gonna eat here tonight. Nobody was there. Damn. So I can always, I always remember my mom's dad's mom, which is my great granny. God bless her soul. Her name was Hattie Fletcher. She was an angel. I love her and I miss her. Um, she always used to tell us. She said, if something ever happens, I remember my grandma told me. She said. If somebody comes in this house, you boil sugar and you throw it on them. Like she was giving me tips on how to survive, survive. when I was a kid. And another tip she said, she was like, she was saying, if, if something ever happens, you know where I live at. Let me show you. You walk this way. You walk that way. And you come to my house if anything ever happens. And that's what I did. And I remember on that journey to my grandma's house, which is about two or three miles away from the projects uh, in North Nashville. Uh, I cried. I was so hurt. You know, I was like, I was crying. I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But then I would get angry. And then that would last uh, 10, 15 minutes. And I would cry again. And then I would get angry again. And I just remember telling myself at that point, I will never be broke. When I grow up, I'm never going to be broke. Right. And so that's kind of when everything started. And school, uh, 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 authority figures, nothing mattered to me at that moment. It was all about survival. 